what is up then guys so you're doing well welcome back to the channel so today i'm still on the journey of losing as much weight from the car as possible um, and my next step is removing the ac compressor um, i only really ever use the ac to get rid of steam windows which this is now sort of my track dedicated car so having the whole ac and the heater and everything care doesn't really bother me so um i want i know so i know there's a couple of companies that actually do dedicated um pulleys and brackets for the ac removal i know that they do them for the st150 and the st170 but if you've got a 1.25 or 1.4 or 1.6 ZTEC S, then there isn't the bracket for that at all. As far as I'm aware, I have done quite a bit of research and I've not found anything. So that's led me to this route. So inside this box is a secondhand AC compressor. Um, I brought it off eBay for I think it's about 14 pounds. So something stupid like that. And my plan for this is I'm going to gut it as much as possible, um, and then hopefully. I can use it as a replacement instead of having the AC. Um, I've heard that it's quite simple to do, but I've also heard that AC compressors are quite complex. Apparently they're like little engines within themselves. So it's gonna be quite interesting to find that out and hopefully you guys enjoy it and hopefully you guys find it useful to do on your own projects. All right, so let's get straight into this. So there's our AC condenser. Um, just a warning if you do you don't do anything with an AC condenser, the liquid or the gas inside is very bad for you and very bad for the environment. So if you're ever using anything where it's actually with a fluid, make sure it's been removed first and that you do it in a open environment, something like that. Just a nice little disclaimer so I don't get into trouble. Um, the guy did tell me he drained it as much as possible, but um, I can't really see much of it than that. Let me have a quick look. Yeah, so there's none leaking out, so. Let's just carry on with this. All right, so this is actually my first time actually holding an AC condenser. I don't know when it was in the box. It's quite weird. It's got like two random spinners there. I don't know if that one's to like engage or that's like an electromagnet or something like that. I have no idea. Um, but yeah, let's start cracking this open. surrounding bolts off and the next plan is now going to be trying to figure out how to crack his head off or just un or I'm just keep undoing bolts until everything falls apart but there are quite a few I'm generally not sure what any of them actually do um, but yeah as long as I've got this video to like go back and remember where everything goes that should be okay but yeah let's just keep on doing things until hopefully something falls apart or after breaks off. I've just seen that there's a bit of fluid still in there, which is no good. Oh, what is that, man? Oh, it all looks absolutely bonkers. Like I'm generally baffled at what I'm looking at. I know that obviously it's a bit of ball bearings and bearings and everything like that, but it's mad. You wouldn't expect it. A bit of degreaser just to get everything off. So now everything that I remove from this, I'm just going to chuck it in this bag and then hopefully at the end we'll get like a general idea of how much weight I've actually been able to remove. Nice and easy. Alright, so 
that's all the bear, ball bearings out. Let's get rid of these wires. It's a bit easy to work with now. Let's do some on the back. And when you haven't got that wrist power, a bit of PB blaster. Looks like a little EGR do it, delete play, going in the bag. Go. There we go, buzzing. Happy days. That's there you go. That's quite a big bit. That's it's not a really heavy bit, it's probably the heaviest bit that I've taken out so far. Yeah, let's keep it going. Let's push that, see what happens. Lovely, another little bit out. So I think that's as light as we're going to be getting for this side of the AC condenser. Um, I might have to put that little plate back on at the end and then once I've cleaned it out I might fill it all with grease or something just to keep it all lubricated. But actually to be fair there's no, no real reason because there's nothing in there. <coughs> might have to come up with some little reasons, well way to blank this wall off as well. I could probably just weld um, a cap on the outside. But other than that this part of the condenser I think is done and it's very very light. try and it just fell off so I've actually heard about this and I think that this is the actual elect uh, what do you call it electromagnet don't think anyone's come off so my ideal plan is now just to get all of this shit out of here sorry not shit stuff out of here and then leave that off there because that's that is heavy um, and then hopefully just bolt this off with a weight so that you can just spin freely without having to power anything in the back of there but also when the belt's under tension I don't want the, the belt turning or anything so I do want to keep it quite stiff so I won't be able to remove too much but I'm just going to go with it see how it goes and if in doubt put stuff back Then apologies, my camera just died literally as I was pulling this out. But to get this out, literally just use your pliers and then what do you call them? Push it out. And if it keeps slipping off, I just put a screwdriver just to pry it out a little bit. But I'd be able to use that again. Big thing out there, it's like a little rotary engine inside. But yeah, done. Right now, I'll try to get the rest of it out. Okay, then, so I've been here for about 10 more minutes now, just scratching my head, can't seem to get anything else off. So, when in doubt, either hammer or drill it out. Just put that in there so it doesn't spin. I didn't remember if that's come out, but that's one less piece out. There 
there we go that's the final bit out now so we just left with that i'm not worried about all of this because that's quite structurally sound and i'm not worried about this front bearing coming off because i've hammered this shit out of it and it's not going anywhere now so i'm just going to give it a bit of a clean up and then we'll see where we go from there all right then guys so i've taken out of sight giving it a bit of a wash up it looks much better now not really any more green fluid but i do plan on paint, painting it a bit of a ring or black uh, when this is done but anyway so I can't really like explain to you guys how much lighter that is, so I will put the weight in uh, once this video is finished. But the amount of weight that is in here now is it's ridiculous. Like it's, I've literally lost another one of these. So I'm very happy with that, and hopefully it all works out of the car. Um, I've never actually done this before, so whether you want to do it to your own car or want to buy a second one just like I've done before you actually attempt it, I'd probably recommend it because I've not actually fitted this yet, obviously. So I don't know how well it's going to work. I don't know if I'm going to have to like, cover any of these holes back up if there's going to be any widening or anything, which hopefully there shouldn't be. But, you know, it's one of those, it's just trial and error. So let's see how it works. I will do a video on me actually fitting it and how it, how it all goes back together. Yeah, I think we are done. Alright then, so that's the end of this video. I hope I'll join in a way, shape or form. Don't sleep on the channel. I've got some new stuff coming. I've got some new meat coming. We've got front and rear brakes coming. Also got something there coming. Not showing you too much of that, but you can probably guess what it is. So yeah, new videos coming soon and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, just before I go, look at this. That's it all painted. Look how good it looks. But yeah, if any of you guys are into distribution of small goods and want to smuggle a bit of stuff, you heard it here first. Let's go. Thank <laughs> you.